Hello everyone! We show you our suitor binded all and how it worked in a previous video. As you can make different things with this machine, we decided to make another video. So we're going to see how to use the plate, how to make a continuous perforation for larger projects, and how to use the C and D position to make holes for covers and inner pages. Let's start with this piece, the plate. This piece will allow you to make only four or five holes instead of the six holes the suitor usually does. To make this happen, insert the alignment guide in the punching channel. Depending on the number of holes you want to make, you just have to place them in a different place. For example, if you want to make just four holes, place it here, covering two holes. And if you want to make five holes, place it covering just one hole. This is very useful if you're making a smaller project than the width of the machine, like this one, which is seven centimeters. In this one, we only want five holes on it. So you just have to place the paper, making sure it's next to the stop guide tab and punch. This piece will also be very useful for projects where you want to put two small groups of rings with less than six holes. We have here a 15 by 15 cm sheet and we want to make two groups of four hole punch sections. To achieve this, place the plate covering two holes. Now place the cardboard and punch. Turn the cardboard over and do the same on the other side. By doing this, you will get a slightly different type of project. One of the questions we get asked a lot about the machine is how to punch continuous holes. So we are now going to see how with an A4 cardboard. First, place it up in A position. Lower this little lever so that it acts as a stop guide and place the paper and then punch. This way you will get the first six holes. Now place the tab in position B and engage the stop guide tab into the second to last punched hole. You have to match it with the second to last hole and not with the last one because in this area here there is no punch to make a hole. Here is the second to last hole, here is the last hole and this is the area not punched yet. Now repeat the process as many times as you need to. Now that you are near to the end of the sheet, look at the rest of the paper you have left, as it is likely that the last hole will not be well centered or will be halfway through the end of the sheet. Therefore, in this case, we are not going to put the tap back in the second to last hole. Now, what you have to do is to follow these drawings and place the paper, bearing in mind to leave a little margin at the end of the paper. In this case, we are going to align the little tap with this hole, the fourth one. This way, we make sure that we don't make any extra holes or make one at the edge of the paper. Finally, let's take a look at the C and D settings that will help you to make holes for the covers and inner sheets of your projects. Our covers here are 10 cm and the inner pages a little smaller, 9.5 cm. To make the holes of our covers, place the tab in setting C. To make sure that both pieces are perfectly aligned, make sure that you place them in the position in which they will be placed. First, place the front cover in the right position and punch. Then, repeat the same process with the back cover. Now that we have them punched, let's move on to the inner pages. Place the tap in setting D and you'll see that the little tap moves a little more inwards. As you can see, the holes of the inner pages and covers are perfectly aligned and both covers stick out a few millimeters on each side. 
We hope this video has solved some of your doubts about the suitor and how to make different types of perforations. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. See you in the next video.